Okay, we're set up here to uh, synchronize the synchronous machine to the uh, infinite bus or the power system. To do that, we're going to wire up the machine very similar to what we had last week. Uh, notice here, however, I put three indicator lights across the switch uh, for the synchronous machine. So across each pole of the switch, I've wired a light. I also have a phase angle meter over here, and the phase angle meter will show us the, uh, the phase angle in addition to uh, showing us uh, the indicator with the lights as well. And so uh, we'll get started here in a second. So before we do anything, the first thing you want to do is make sure the switch on the synchronous machine is off because you're going to have the uh, power system connected to the bottom of the switch and you've got the generated voltage at the top of the switch. So make sure the switch is off, the lights are across the switch. Uh, we want to turn on the power now. And we notice that the lights are in fact uh, lit up as a result of uh, the fact that there's voltage at the bottom of the switch even though there's none at the top here. And the first thing we want to do is measure the uh, line voltage uh, for the uh, power supply. And so looking at our uh, meter up here, make sure you're set on the uh, high uh, scale here and we can see that we're right at uh, 200 volts line voltage here. That will be important because we want to make sure that the uh, generator is putting out 200 volts as well so that when we close the switch there's not much voltage across the switch. Okay, so the power is on. I'm going to turn on my DC motor and bring up the speed on the generator. Now I've got the generator running uh, just slightly above uh, 1800 RPM, which of course is at synchronous speed. And notice here that the lights are flashing on and off. I'll zoom in on those. You can see the lights are flashing on and off. Uh, they're all in synchronism, so that means that we've wired the phasing correctly. Looking at our phase angle meter, we can see that the uh, phase angle meter is continually revolving, indicating a difference in speed. It is also rotating toward the uh, machine, and so that indicates the machine is running a little high, and that is in fact the case here. If we look at our uh, tachometer, we're at about 1,818 RPM. So I'll try to bring that speed down just a little bit. Get a little bit above uh, 1,800 RPM. We also want to make sure now our voltage is the same, and so we need to check the line voltage that we're getting out of the uh, generator, and we can do that with our fluke meter over here. You can see right now we're only at 154 volts of line voltage, and so we're going to crank up the excitation on this machine and bring that up to uh, right at 200 volts, maybe 201 or so, 202. So right about 202 volts here, just slightly above uh, the line voltage on the power system. Uh, at this point now, the machine has slowed down a little bit uh, since I brought the voltage up, and so I need to uh, readjust my tachometer up to uh, 1800 RPM. So I've got my tachometer at 1800. I'll bring it up just a little bit to get a, some rotation here. So I'm at 1805 RPM and now we see the uh, lights are flashing very slowly. And my phase angle meter is rotating extremely slowly as well. 
relatively slowly. So it takes a few seconds for the phase angle meter to go around and the lights to uh, change as well. So I'll back it up here a little bit. Now you can see the lights and the phase angle meter. And so what I'm going to do now is I want to close that switch at the time that the uh, voltage is dark. And so I'm going to reach in here with, a, with uh, something that's insulated and try to flip that switch when the uh, phase angle meter is right zero. And so as it comes up to zero, I've hit the switch, locked it in. Now the machine is running in synchronism, and I can do anything I want to the, uh, the machine, essentially, and it's not going to change uh, speed. And so if I adjust, for example, the rheostat here, it has no effect on the uh, speed of the machine. It stays right at 1800 RPM. So this is the proper procedure for uh, synchronizing your machine, and you'll be doing this in the laboratory experiment today.